everybody, Karen here. So today I am wearing my Santa hat because I'm going to be playing Santa. That's right, it is time for my annual gift guide for graphic designers and crafters. Basically, gift guide for anyone who's into all of the exact same things that I am into. This is one of my favorite videos to make all year long, but this year it's especially special because I'm actually giving away most of the stuff that I'm showing in this video. That's right, one of you guys is about to have a very, very Merry Christmas or a happy whatever holiday you celebrate. There are a couple books that um, are just like my books that I'm going to show you but not give away, but literally everything else one of you guys is going to get. It's going straight from my hands into yours. So let's just jump right into it. Of course, the first thing I have to feature is my own book. I just announced this the other week. It is the Ampersand Coloring Book for Adults. Coloring books for adults are huge right now, and I think they're so much fun, so I decided to make my own that has uh, ampersands. Like, you know, all the, all the drawings are themed around ampersands, because why not? I think this would be a great gift for any graphic designer in your life, and you can make it extra special by also including some markers. This comes with a ton of different colors, which are perfect for coloring in this book. Along with that, of course, is the poster, and um, again, this is just a mock-up, this and the book. I don't have the real ones in my hand yet, but whoever wins the giveaway will be getting the real ones, not these mock-ups, obviously. Again, I think this is a great gift for any graphic designer in your life because they get a fun activity in coloring it in, and then when they're done, they get a really fun piece of ampersand wall art. So the poster and the book are available now on dftba.com, where I sell all the rest of my merch. They're still on sale through Monday, so you can get the book for $16 and the poster for $8. All right, I think that's enough self-promo. Let's move on to the next item in our gift guide, which is the 1000 Colors Puzzle. I want to give a huge shout out to the company who makes this because I had bought my own a few weeks ago and then I reached out to them to try to get another one to give away to one of you guys and they sent me this. So if you've been watching my channel for a while now, you know that I love jigsaw puzzles. Like I literally don't let myself have jigsaw puzzles here in my apartment because I will drop all of my other work to do nothing else but work on them. And my favorites are brightly colored jigsaw puzzles. They just make me so happy. And so this was kind of like the perfect puzzle because every piece is a slightly different color and then it just makes a gradient all the way down. Obviously, since it's called the Thousand Colors Puzzle, it's a thousand pieces. But to be honest, it's not a difficult puzzle. So if you're not good at puzzles, like this is kind of a good intro puzzle. It only took me about three and a half hours. I kind of wish I had like savored it and like made it last a little longer, but I can just take it apart and do it again. That's the beauty of a puzzle. They also make a version of this that's a hundred colors. So if you want to get it for, you know, a kid, somebody who maybe isn't ready for the thousand piece, uh, the hundred piece one is available as well. Moving on, next we've got the 3D Doodler. This has been out for a while now but I got to demo it at Adobe Max, which is the conference that I went to over the summer, and they just had a table out with a ton of these out where you could just play with them, and they are so much fun. I want to give another huge shout out to this company because they also sent me one for free to give away to you guys. So basically, as the title suggests, it's a pen, but you can doodle in 3D. It has these kind of plastic sticks that you feed into the pen, and it kind of melts them as you go, and then you can just make like really intricate little sculptures. I think I definitely need to practice a little bit more to make anything as fancy as some of the ones you'll see online. If you have one or if you get one for Christmas, um, I'd love to know what you make with it. Okay, so those were the only two things that were sent to me by the companies. Everything else I bought with my own money. Nothing in this video is sponsored. So you guys know that I am obsessed with Pantone. I think their design is just so classic and um, a lot of the stuff that they sell, you know, they have ornaments, they have mugs. A lot of it's very, very very expensive. So when I saw these storage boxes online, I just thought they were so awesome. It still is fairly expensive. I think it's like $25 or $30 for each box, which is not, you know, you wouldn't go ahead and buy like 10 of these in one go. But they come in all sorts of colors to match any room decor. The person who wins will be getting this one, which is kind of a purple, like lilac color. So 
I hope your room can use a little bit of lilac in it. If you really want to get someone a special gift, I could see you getting a box like this to kind of put a gift inside and then you wrap the whole thing and then it's like two gifts in one. So I'm really jealous of whoever wins this. I think I might have to order a couple for myself as well. Next up, we've got something that might remind you a little bit of your childhood, but it's a little more grown up and it is the Lego Architecture Series. I love putting together Lego and I especially love the Architecture Series because they're all kind of white and neutral colors and so it's really fun to put together but then also you get this really nice piece that you can just put out and display on your desk. This one is the Trevi Fountain which I just think looks so pretty. I again I am so jealous of whoever gets this. I want it for myself. They have these for all kinds of different monuments and they also have the big architecture studio where you get like tons and tons of white blocks. That one was like $300 so I didn't include it in this gift guide, but for something a little cheaper and more accessible to the rest of us, I just think anything from the Lego Architecture series would make a really great gift. Next we've got something that could be something more of a stocking stuffer, and it is these Kate Spade punctuation paper clips. There's an ampersand on there, and it's beautiful, and it's my favorite one, and I love it. I actually bought some of these for myself a few months ago. I've been wanting to use them in a DIY, and I just haven't figured out like what to use them in yet. And of course, it's gold and cream and black and it's Kate Spade, which means it is gorgeous. So this next thing I think would be perfect for any aspiring YouTubers or filmmakers out there, and it is a handle for your phone. It's really simple, it's just like a handle and then it has this clip thing to kind of hold any size phone, even if it has a case on it like mine does. And then if you're out filming something, rather than just holding your phone by itself and being all shaky, you can just hold it by the handle and you can get a lot smoother pans and just like hold it a lot more steady. Phones are basically mobile production studios these days. You can film so much cool stuff just on a phone. So I think an accessory like this is just perfect for anyone who wants to, you know, experiment more with their filmmaking or their vlogging or their vining. I'm not on Vine, but if you know any aspiring viners, uh, that might be a good gift for them. So next we've got another jigsaw puzzle. This one kind of combines my two favorite things in the world, which is jigsaw puzzles and infographics. I've definitely talked about Pop Chart Lab quite a bit on this channel before. They make tons of like posters of just the most beautiful infographics in the world, and now they've released some jigsaw puzzles, which I just, I had to feature because I love jigsaw puzzles and I love infographics and this is my favorite thing. So they actually make three of them. This one is all about typewriters and then this one is all about cameras. And then there's one more which I think is about bicycles but I did not buy that one. So I'm gonna be keeping the camera one for myself because um, it's Christmas for me too. And then I'll be giving away the typewriter one to one of you guys. Oh and these are only 500 pieces so if you're not as good at jigsaw puzzles um, it's a little more manageable than a thousand pieces. Next up, we've got two paperback books. First is uh, First and Then by Emma Mills, also known as Elmify on YouTube. This book isn't really specific to graphic designers or crafters in any way, other than the cover being gorgeous, but I ended up with an extra advanced reader's copy and I wanted to give it away to one of you guys, so I figured I would just throw it in this giveaway to make your Christmas extra special. And then this is a book called The Cheese Monkeys, a novel in two semesters by Chip Kidd. I think I did an entire video just reviewing this book, so I'll put that, I'll link that somewhere around here if you want to learn more about it. But it's about this guy who goes to art school back in, what is it, the 60s, the 50s? the 60s, I don't know, something like that. And it is just so beautifully written. It was actually recommended to me by John Green a few years ago, and then I read it and I was like, oh my god, this is the best book ever. You have the best recommendations in the world. And then I also found out that John Green did one of the, the quotes about how good it is. So uh, yeah, John Green approved. If you know anyone who like just got into art school or is in art school, um, I think this would be just a really great gift for them. Next we have something that I cannot actually hold up to show you because it's still on its way in the mail, and it won't get here until after I have to put up this video. But it is this print from Risa Rodale. I think it is gorgeous. Of course, everything she makes is amazing. I am a huge fan of her work. She sells her stuff on DFTBA as well as on Society6, so you can get her stuff printed just like in posters, on shirts, on pillows, on so many things. But I just wanted to choose one thing to give away to you guys, and I thought this might be a pretty universal type of print. You know, it's not like Doctor Who or Supernatural related, which not everybody is super into, but I, like, if you don't like this print, 
I don't know why you're here. What are you doing here? So it's gonna be print that's like, I don't know, like that big. I think it's the small one that I ordered. But once that gets here, that will be a part of the giveaway as well. So that's everything that'll be part of the giveaway. But now I have three more books that I wanted just to show you guys. First is Super Modified, the Behance book of creative work. So if you know the site Behance, it's kind of like a design portfolio social network type of site. A ton of design professionals post their work on there and everything is just so beautiful. And so this year they released a book just kind of compiling all the best work that has been uploaded to the site. And it's just this beautiful coffee table book. If you ever need inspiration for like any design project, just flip through this and I'm sure your mind will just all those gears will just start turning. Next is another new book. It's called In Progress by Jessica Hish. She is this very talented, very well-known lettering artist. She did the Penguin Drop Cap series, which I featured on my channel last year, and um, I'm still collecting those myself. I'm hoping I get a couple more of those for Christmas this year. But she just released this book kind of showing her process and showing how she goes from a blank page to like the most gorgeous lettering designs you've ever seen. And then finally, we've got Hello, I am Eric, the giant bright orange book. Eric Speakerman is a very influential designer, so important in typography history. And this is a book showing all of his most important fonts and kind of how they're used and the history of how they came about and just everything that you would ever want to know about Eric Speakerman. If you know anyone who is maybe in a graphic design history type of class or like really enjoys that kind of stuff, um, I think they would love this book. Or if you just know anyone who wants to put a bright orange coffee table book out in their living room. Uh, this is a great choice. <laughs> All right, and that is everything. My feet are completely asleep. Um, this is gonna be very uncomfortable when I try to get up in a minute. I hope you guys liked this year's gift guide for graphic designers. I had so much fun picking everything out. One more huge shout out to 3D Doodler and the 1000 Colors Puzzle companies for sending me these things to give away to you guys. And again, nothing was sponsored. Everything else I just bought with my own money. And I just wanted to make somebody's Christmas very special. So everything will be linked right down below if you want to order them for yourself. But to enter the contest, first, you must live in the United States, and second, you must be at least 18 years old. So entries will be open for the next week, and all you have to do is leave a comment telling me why you are excited for the holidays. And also put your Twitter username in your comment, because that's how I'm gonna reach out to the winner, is through a direct message on Twitter. I'm gonna pick my favorite comment in one week, and that person will win everything that you see on screen right now. As I said, I am so jealous of whoever wins. I want this Lego set and I want to put things in this Pantone box so bad, but um, no, one of you guys will win, I promise. I will send out this stuff. One more shout out to my ampersand coloring book, which is available right now along with all of the rest of my merch and everything on DFTBA right now is 20% off for Black Friday. So right now is a great time to stock up on ampersand necklaces or reblog necklaces or interrobang necklaces or buying books, shirts, and posters, and bookmarks, and what else, what else do I sell? I don't know, everything else that I sell. So if you want to watch last year's gift guide video, there are even more ideas there. You can watch that there, and I will link any others that I've made in previous years right down in the description. But now I think I have to go because it is very hot in Los Angeles, and this hat is actually kind of making me sweat. Bye, everybody.